Here we are in Leafy Borwin and we're about to check out a modern and beautiful home. I'm quite excited actually because we're about to meet my favourite designer, Georgia Ezra, and we'll say day to her and the builder, Stephen. Just from the street view alone, I can tell this house is special. The result of a collaboration between pros at the top of their game, this is a compact house that still manages to be open and even grand. Holy moly, wow! It's all in the design and execution, as Bessie finds out. What a home. I'm absolutely blown away. The detail in this house is exquisite. We really put in a lot of effort in the design team to um, have a beautiful layering of textures and materialities to create a really healthy emotional environment yeah. so that when you walk in you feel something really special. Now I know the owners of this home have ended up with a perfect product, but they also had a high attention to detail. Yes. Lucas and Ivy, who are very good friends of both Stephen and mine, they really love design mm -hmm. and I think that we were very fortunate because they appreciated every effort and energy that we put into making this home yeah. so beautiful as it is. So it's a small block. I noticed that when I came in. I love the rounded edges and I love how compact the block is. But this house feels huge. Yeah. So what is it? Um, Georgia probably knows better <laughs> about feeling and outlay. But... I think it's just there's like this beautiful high ceiling. Yes. And you know the whole thing just opens up. The height of the open glass window and glazing throughout. It really just gives this beautiful illusion yeah. that the space is larger than it, what it actually is. And I can see behind you this beautiful oak tree in the view. Has this whole house been centred around that view? Definitely, yeah. Currently where we're standing is elevated and it's um, sitting on screw poles, mm -hmm. which is designed not to impact on the tree's roots. Uh -huh. Designing and building houses in inner city areas always comes with challenges. Here, the first challenge was addressing the unusual triangle-shaped block and the second was addressing this established tree. The tree was, was both uh, a constraint, but also uh, positive for this site. Uh, we had to work around the tree, we had to make sure the tree survived construction, but also the home enhanced the tree and the tree enhanced the home. The solution provides form and function, with a striking curved facade and a widening at the back end that allows the living and kitchen areas to open up to the tree and let in the natural light. The tree really influenced um, the levels that also exist on the, on the property. We could build on the ground in certain areas, but in other areas we had to build up. So we're using that to our advantage again and giving the building different height in different areas. Upstairs, the master bedroom and ensuite fit nicely into the curve. Let's talk about that bathroom because I love the dark taps, I love your choice of tiles and that bathtub is gorgeous but I can imagine it was heavy. It was very heavy, half a ton exactly. <laughs> it almost killed me, oh <laughs> it my was gosh. me and Georgia just ourselves trying to lift it up those yeah. stairs but... How did it go down? Tell me everything. Uh, no, it wasn't me and Georgia. <laughs> we had help. We had about six blokes who literally physically just dragged it up here more or less. There are four bathrooms in this home mm -hmm. and for each of the bathrooms we specifically chose different tapware to complement the tiles. Okay. The tiles were chosen from our tile company, Tiles of Ezra. Beautiful. Every single thing that you see is specifically customised for this home and there were certainly difficulties in installing them inside so that's where Prava Developments came in and did it perfectly for us and so my visions became a reality. So where to from here? Where's Prava going next? Prava's got a few projects on at the moment, mm -hmm. a few high-end projects, uh, one in South Yarra and another one in um, Ivanhoe, and we also got a large apartment project in Eltham. Today there's so many French provincial, there's so many Hampton style homes, it's nice to have a modern home that's so unique. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think this street, every second or third house is a French provincial yeah. and um, this house is definitely a breath of fresh air in the area. It certainly is. It's great to see a modern design that still feels so homely. Coming in at around the $1.1 million mark, this compact house packs a lot in. And with the customisation and level of finishes, cost doesn't seem as important as the feeling this house has created. It's the kind of wow factor that grows. <laughs>